Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Hello, Shoudari, Dita, Hyman, Arwa. Hello, Erpa, Joyce, Sherry, Michael, the AR Jackson, Adeline, Terry, Maggie, Eve, Manuel, Michael, Terry, Maggie. Hello, everybody. I'm going to paint, uh, I'm going to start this portrait with this uh, bristle brushes. Okay. Some of them here, the colors are titanium white, camion yellow, camion red, at least are crimson, cobalt blue, and ivory black. Okay. I'm going to mix a gray color here for making the sketch. Okay, that's gonna be okay. It's gonna be the space for mixing the colors. I'm going to place the face, the whole head here. I'm squinting my eyes trying to see the overall shape for this line of the hair. I'm gonna make it this so be around here. Okay, this, this, and this. Now I'm gonna see the center line of the face. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see the center line here. The middle of the, of the globella, the septum here, and the middle of the chin. Okay, it's going to be around here. Okay, now align for the eyes. The nose, the mouth. I mean to put the, the nose, the mouth, and the chin. I just I just following simple proportion rules. I'm not copying uh, hair proportions yet. I'm just uh, following this thing about from the eyebrow to the nose is the same distance from the nose to the chin. Okay, that's the canon. I mean that's the beginning, and then we. Uh, uh, I have to adjust that just to match her proportions. Okay, uh, I see now that she has maybe this a little bit longer than this distance. I mean, this distance than this one, I think. You, I mean, you know that we are not so sure about anything. We need to see more in order to make corrections and move the proportions. Okay, on the mix. An orange. I always try to keep this as simple as possible. An orange plus white and black. If you don't like to use black, you can use blue. That's okay. The idea is just to grade down this color a lot. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes. Obviously, I see some light area and some shadow. And I always have a black and white image. In this case, you can see that is I darken this image a lot. You see clearly all this shape, all this dark shape here. And this is go obviously this is going to help me with the drawing. Okay. Let's see if this color is going to work. Right now, I'm just thinking in all this area. You see this shape? Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's mix. And again, an orange. Let's make this orange darker. I mean, it's darker just because I add more black 
less white. It's as simple as that. Now let's see the shape, the shadow. This is too strong. Okay, I need to knock down the color. By the way, I'm using Winton. Okay. I add more black, more white, and obviously I knock, knock down the color. If you add more white, more black, at, at the end you're gonna end up with a really gray down color. Right now I'm trying to copy all this shape. See, I'm happy me with this image, of course. You know that uh, you know I have always a lot of images, at least three, three images. Okay, stepping back. I'm squinting down my eyes and I'm going to copy these dark areas for the eyes. I know, I know trying to capture just the eyes. I'm just trying to see all this area for, from the eyebrows to the bottom of the eye. And the same here for the eyebrow to the bottom of the eye. And now the next shadow I see is this one. The next one is this one. Okay. Now the most important always Pay attention to this triangle here. Okay. If you can be really accurate with this triangle, you're gonna have this really good. And I mean, you know that here we have a, a, like 80% of the information of the face, the eyes and the nose. If we have a mistake here, we can move the mouth I mean, it's not gonna, nothing is easier, but I mean, that's gonna be easier move the mouth or the forehead than moving the eyes and the nose. Okay. I'm squinting my eyes really hard, trying to see this shape here. Okay, now, here. I'm trying to try see a diagonal from the bottom of the nose, this here, to the corner of the eye, and from here to the corner of the other eye. You can use your brush if you want, like this, and you move it here, here, and you move it here. It's kind of close, close enough right now. Obviously, if I'm doing this, and this is like this, or like this, I mean, that means that everything here is wrong. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this value again. and squinting my eyes and right now I'm just trying to copy all this lead area. You know, try to follow this like it was a, a map, okay? Don't think that this is a face. You see here, this goes like this and it go, goes like this. And here's gonna be the same here, here. And here, okay. 
That's so clear. I mean, this shape is so clear. Okay, here's going to be the same. Follow this and this. Here in this area that is for the eyebrow and the eye, I'm gonna darken just the brows and now a little bit of the eye here in this eye. There, and see, there is no detailers because I'm squinting my, eye, my eyes a lot. I don't see, I'm trying to not see details here and I'm trying just to copy the same, like. And a blur, blurry, a blurry image, but on a focus image, I'm trying to do the same. Okay, to copy the same. I mean, it's, it, I do this because I'm trying to copy the proportions. Definitely, when I decided to do the eyes, I, and then I, I will pay my at more attention to move one eye a little bit up or down, yes. Okay. I have this, this is another shape here. Okay, I, I, I keep just looking for these shapes. I mean, that's easier, of course, to copy a simple shape that thinking about the face and trying to copy the mouth and the nose. Yes. I gotta simplify things first. Always, always it's easy to copy something simple. It's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like I'll tell you copy this triangle and instead of copying this, this one is gonna be easy, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do. Always looking for simple shapes that's so gonna be easier to copy. Yes, and since I'm, I'm doing both things, uh, drawing and painting, when, with paint is kind of, uh, I'm feeling like I'm touching, touching the form. And like I was making, an, like I'm making a sculpture it means that I can feel that this is a little bit up, this is a little bit down, this is coming forward, this is just turning back, okay? I usually keep the contour of the face really blurry because that's the last thing I usually do. So difficult, it's kind of easier to try just to see this, this, and this. But the width of the face, for me, especially, is the most difficult measure, okay? I try just to, when I do it visually, I try to, to calculate this, I try to see this, and I try to move this like this. But visually, it's so difficult to do it. And then that's why I'm not able to do really good now. To do to do that really good now, I gotta wait for to see more of the face. Then I'm gonna be able to do to, to measure. Okay, let's go again. Let's make a darker color: black, cameo red, and yellow. Again, a darker brown, kind of a dark burnt sienna or burn amber. Okay, again, squinting my eyes, and I'm going to 
We'll go with this brown. The other brown. So simple, just this and this. Okay, now for this eye. Now I will try to draw inside this uh, shape something a little bit darker. I'm squinting my eyes right now. Okay. Okay, again, now to the nose. I see here the tree duck. Maybe it's here, maybe it's a little bit to the left. Let's say this here. If I trace a line, a line down, I'm gonna get the wind of the nose. Shut up here. Right now I can see them, but something is wrong with that nose. Maybe it should make make it shorter. I don't know. Uh, obviously, it's difficult to, to see to know that when something is okay. And definitely, I'm thinking maybe I should move the nose a little bit to the left. Okay, let's make this from the here to the bottom of the nose to the eye. Okay, something is wrong here. Can you see if I pick up this and yeah, make a line like this? That's gonna be so different. That means that I gotta move this. Yeah, maybe there that would be okay. Okay. Now I gotta see something about her face. You see the angle of the eyes, how they are tilted a little bit like this but the mouth is like this. And they say the eyes are like this and the mouth like this. Okay, pay attention to that. For the beginning, we always start with this parallel, all of this. That's just, I mean, the proportion, the normal proportions. Okay. Stepping back. <laughs> Looks really funny right now. You see here, this is a mess. This is the last thing I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna measure. And usually I go like little by little like this. Let's see. I know that I need to narrow this area, but I go little by little. Okay, a little bit more. If you don't want to suffer like this, uh, it would be better just to make first the drawing. And you just spend an hour in the drawing and then trace it. But this is a nice exercise, always. The pressure that you feel, I mean, when you feel pressure, when you feel like you're dealing with something, you're struggling. I mean, for me, it's, it's a good training. Uh, I got more. I gotta be really focused with this. Okay? I shouldn't be speaking to you guys. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, again, I squint my eyes, I have this shadow here, shadow here, shadow here, and here. Okay, I can move this. I can... Uh, you see what I'm doing? I'm just trying to follow these darks, okay? 
Okay, from here, even I can trace a diagonal to this shadow here and move to the next shadow here. Okay, kind of getting close to this area. Okay. Now, this. For this, I'm just squinting my eyes and I see this here and this here. Okay, that's right. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Just paint a little bit of the hair. Just a little bit of medium. This brush is it's kind of stiff. But this is what I want because I want to spread the thing. I mean and and this sound is like music for my ears. bit darker. Let's go again. This, this. Now let's see the measurement from here to the bottom of the chin. Obviously I, I just did, did this brush stroke. It's not gonna be here, you see the distance. Okay, kind of there. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see this shape here. All this. I'm putting my eyes to, to do this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this shadow here. And I'm getting close. Okay, what else? What else? This, this, okay, this here, this here. And just kind of jumping from, from this dark, this dark, this dark, this, 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 okay. A little bit of the same person. Okay, you can see now the proportions are getting closer. Yes. Okay, now I can think about drawing a little bit more. Because right now, as you can see, is I mean, there is no details in this eye and this, and this eye is like, you can move it a lot from the right, left, up or down. Yes, I mean, uh, Right now, it's like, uh, for me, it's just ha trying to ha uh, place the features, I mean, the eyes, the nose and the mouth, and squinting my eyes a lot, and comparing with the image, and kind of I feel that the features are okay. Now it would be about move the eyes there, a little bit to the right, a little bit up, a little bit down, okay? Um, because I mean, uh, no, it's not gonna be about moving the eye here or moving this. Eye, okay? it's, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be moving an eye a little bit. Mm. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to read the comments. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> Send. Nam. Hello, Monique. Hello, Marvat. Inga. And hello, Tripti. Eve. Hello, David. Hello, Lucy Ferian 666. Oh, wow. We have the devil here. Hello, Nadia. Hello, Thurbo. Uh, video has stopped. Yes, for real. Can you hear me? I'm here, I'm here. You see my hand? Oh, my God. Trevor is telling me uh, her nose a little longer than you have it. It's asking me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yes. Yeah, maybe. I'm not, I'm not able to say to to say uh, something is really wrong right now. But definitely, if you squint your eyes, we can kind of see if something is really if something is off. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, because somebody says that the video stopped, Maggie Brooks, bro Maggie Brooks, and then, because that happened to me before, I thought, uh, was again, I thought uh, I was having problems again. Okay. Okay, let me cut another brush. This is a brush I think is for watercolor. It has a long hair. You know that uh, when I buy materials, I just pick up. I touch the hair and I... I feel it in a, I mean, I have just uh, sometimes touched some watercolor brushes and definitely I know that I'm not gonna be okay. I'm not gonna use those brushes because they are too soft. But sometimes I, I find some kind of in the middle, not so soft, not so stiff. Squinting my eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Now you see that the, the brow here is just this diagonal and this horizontal. I mean, it's like two straight lines, just like this. I mean, that's not the shape of uh, her brow. Now is the moment to try to get this curve here. Okay. Hello, Anamalu. Uh, ask me. Uh, I love your heart, in my opinion, the mouth. It's a little bit up, a little bit up, but you know, also, also right. Okay. Thank you, anyway. Okay. Now I'm going to mix a lighter color here. Make it lighter, but uh, just 
making a little bit saturated than the previous one this now what i'm gonna do i'm just going to use this to continue drawing at the same time that i'm painting light 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 okay Okay. Yeah, you know that I'm, I'm doing this. Uh, it's about the relationships of everything here, the shadows with the shadows, mid-tones with mid-tones, and these lights with these light, highlights here and here. And just using, like I was uh, I'm copying just uh, shapes, or which shapes, this is a shape, this is a shape, okay? This two is like for me, it's just this and this. I'm trying to see how if they are like this and this. Maybe on another occasion I see this and I see this one here. Yes, I'm just trying to copy that. This one here, this one here, and then I move in a diagonal to here. And then another diagonal up here. That means that at the same time that I am playing painting and drawing. Okay. Okay, now you see that this person and this person, they are kind of same pose, same features, but you don't see here yet, yes? I don't see here yet. I mean, the likeness, the likeness is not there yet. But I can tell that, I mean, the position now of the, the eyes, the nose and the mouth are okay. I mean, the form of the nose is not okay yet. The shape of the eyes, nor okay yet. And you feel this eye, it goes a little bit up, like this. Okay, more than this one. I don't know, it's maybe because of the makeup. I don't know. Uh, there are so many things that we try to guess, okay, because not so sure maybe it's just her face maybe it's just the makeup that is changing her face maybe because of the expression maybe because uh she's smiling with one side of the face it could be many factors well we should know is just this the process there are so many things that we'll not be able to to guess what is happening. We gotta just follow the process, drawing and copying, and trying to uh, see the relationships between all the midtones, the, the shadows, the lights, and then right now it's gonna be about for me thinking about color because just working with just one color. Yeah, right now it's just, it's like working uh, on the side. Yes. Now, if you have seen my other videos, you know what I'm going to do, yes? I'm gonna add just red. For what? 
for adding the reddish areas of the face. Okay. Now you add the color. You see if the color is working here. If it's not working, you go back here and make changes. In this case, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. See, Daniela, I like the way you paint. It seems so easy and natural, thank you. But when I try it, <laughs> it's never the same. But never give up. I'll try and I'll try. That's right, Daniela. Yeah. It's been the same for everybody. Okay, you gotta be precise with this. No, you know that the process of painting is just, it's like, a, it's a process of corrections, adjust adjustments, and you see this color is not okay. You gotta be thinking right now what to do here in order to apply here. Maybe you're gonna use this color and mute this color again. Maybe you're just going to change this by adding more yellow. Or maybe you're just going to knock down this color by adding blue or gray. You go back again here and see if that's working. And go back here. That's why when you see a painter, I used to see my teacher. I remember so that's some of my teachers, they go like this really fast. They do something like this. And then they go here. And I said, I mean, I didn't even, for me it was, why if you're mixing here, you go here to pick up this and then go back here. Yeah, you know why? I'm not gonna tell you why. Go, go and do some research. <laughs> Okay, there is some more. This, uh, there's a reddish area here, which is really soft. This thing about the reddish areas of the face, uh, you're gonna see if uh, you wanna apply these areas really um, reddish or maybe just a little bit subtle. It's up to you. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes. Right now, I'm adding a little bit of color here.
want to uh, add more light. I'm going to blend a little bit. I, mean, I, don't, I don't want to. I want paint. I want to feel the paint, but I don't want to leave the. I uh, mean, the brush strokes. I want something kind of in the middle. I want to leave maybe some brush strokes, but it's not going to be like thick, thick brush strokes. Or maybe, maybe I will add more paint. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You know? I usually I have a plan always. I usually have a plan, but sometimes I change the plan. It depends if I like what I see. I'm speaking about the brush strokes and add more paint or less paint or blend more. Okay, but at the end that's not that's not important. I mean, uh, this thing about adding brush strokes or blending more, it's just just like ornaments. That's not important. Important is to capture uh, the proportions. Important is to capture to see to. Uh, to get the values right, to get the proportion okay. Yes, and if we pay a lot of attention to get the likeness. A lot, of a lot of paint, it's not gonna fix, it's not gonna make this better. Working with almost no paint, it's gonna be the same. I mean, the only thing is if you add a lot of paint, I mean, that you gotta be able to manage yes, that amount of paint. That's why uh, I can change that in the process. Yes, I, I maybe I, I I started painting thinking I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this paint really soft. I end up make making the paint really thick. And you don't know that because I'm not gonna tell you everything, yeah. And just because I see that works for that the person, I don't know the expression. Something, something just pushed me to add more paint. And there are some times that things, I just see the image. I feel like, oh my God, this painting, I have to add a lot of paint for this paint. It needs that kind of character. Because when the paint is thick, it's, I mean, for me, it's like more, more alive, more expressive. Yes, but at the same time, when the painting is soft, I feel I feel that I like that. I mean, I, lo I love both ways of paintings, really. 
thick and soft. I mean, if you see my channel, you obviously you're gonna say that I love more uh, blend. Maybe, maybe that's right. Okay, let's work on the likeness. That means that I gotta pay attention to the shape of the eyes. The eyes are obviously so important. Maggi is telling me right side of mouth a, a little low. Okay, I'm gonna check out that. Don't overdo the teeth again, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, somebody's telling me I am the shape of the right side of the face, right side of the face, from the eye to the cheekbone is more shaped, is shaped. Okay, okay, I will check out on all of that. Hmm. Michael is asking me, I know you do a La Prima painting because you don't have a lot of time, but what is your favorite way, way of painting? Yeah, okay. Uh, I think like like a f my f a favorite way of painting. I don't. I could. Uh, I couldn't say that I have one way. Uh, what I would say if uh, the most maybe beautiful uh, skin color skin colors or skin effects. Uh, I I got those. When I, uh, when I have painted with a technique like uh, a grisaille, for example. Okay, I think every technique uh, has uh, their own things that make that technique beautiful. Okay, uh, for me, if I go to paint like Every portrait with a technique, no, no la prima, no in one sitting in so many layers. I think I would choose always make a grisaille and add a, add a lot of glazes. It's just that I love the transparency when you add glazes. But that's, that's that's personal. I mean, maybe somebody somebody's uh, do the same. He says, "No, I mean, that's no big deal." The transparencies for other person is is gonna be more about uh, la prima. And that's that's why I mean that's difficult to say. What is my favorite? I don't think we don't have like a favorite. I mean, it's just something that I like. And it's not always, I mean, it's from time to time. It's just like nowadays, last videos I've been using these brushes. Or just this, almost these green brushes. And a few months ago, I haven't been using these ones. It's like uh, this gray toned canvas. Maybe in the next month, I'm gonna use brown. Or maybe the next month I'm gonna use the next month I'm gonna use white. You say what is your favorite? And I'm gonna say maybe I don't know. Right now is this one, but it doesn't mean that that's, I'm not gonna change my mind next month. We use a new one.
Okay. I'm not, I'm not working on this, the eyes color. I'm just using this color. I mean, I'm gonna add the color later. I'm trying to get the shape, the form of the eyes. And at the same time, I'm always trying to keep the volume Maybe a little bit of the color. Now that I'm working this, I'm going to work a little bit more. Okay, I, I gotta fix this area. Mm -hmm. Little by little, okay. When I start just to working and trying to work on the terrace, uh, I work a little bit, let's say the eyes. I don't finish the eyes, I just let it there and I go to the nose. And after working on the nose, the mouth, and then I'll be back again to the eyes, okay? If you try to do the same, you're gonna feel that uh, it's kind of um, just taking a rest from one area to the other area. Because if, if I get in the eyes just for an hour, I mean, I, I gotta see the whole uh, painting. It's not just about just the eyes, just finish the eyes perfectly. What if I, I spend an hour on the eyes and this, I, then I step back and I see that they are maybe uh, too close together or too uh, away from one from the other. Okay. Here, I'm getting a little bit close to this form of the eyes. I'm keeping just thinking always in this distance, this triangle. I'm squinting my eyes a lot, a lot, step back. Okay. Now, I, I fixed uh, the shape of the nose. Now, the light. OK. 
Okay, you know, and this is just one light. I mean, this color. At some point, you gotta think that maybe this light, this highlight, should be cooler or, or warmer than this one. It's not about this color. It should be cool. Just think about cool. No, no. Everything is here. It's working here. If I say cool, cool color, it's gonna be a cool color in relationship to the other colors around. It's not gonna be a cool color maybe here in the palette, but it's gonna be a cool color here in the painting. Okay, for the nose, I, I, I just love to add this highlight, just pure white and yellow and make these pops forward a lot. Now I'm going to work on this shadow here. Okay, if, uh, if you want to support my channel, I have a Patreon account where you can see videos from just forty four four dollars. <laughs> I was about to say it's forty four dollars. Okay. And I read the comments a little bit. Okay. A good love wolf. He's saying, I would love to see you doing a portrait in oil, oil and then the same in acrylic. Oh, that would be really good. Uh, maybe. Ian, the shape of the right side of the face from the eye to the cheekbone. Okay, okay, I read this one. Yeah. Lower part of the nose is too narrow. Okay, I get, I'm getting there. I'm working here. Now the nose, now I'm going to work on the mouth. Hmm. Thank you, Chanel. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Dita. Okay. Oh. There is an expression for that, something like work the whole painting. Thank you, Monique. <laughs> Daniela says the She's waiting just for the teeth. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's continue. I'm going slowly. I'm going relaxed. Well, I mean, in the next maybe 20 minutes, I'm gonna be really stressed. Because when you paint a celebrity, an actor, an actress, a singer, it's about the likeness. If I don't get the likeness, then that would be a failure. Okay. But right now I just wanna I wanna be relaxed and continue working. Okay, now let's work. Okay, oh, I was working here yet. I mean a little bit of light here and now the mouth. Okay, let me see this shape here. Let me see the shape here. Okay, I see something interesting here. That I'm going to use this, the corner of the mouth. It goes with this and I go up. Okay, that's, it's going to help me with this area here.
Okay. And adding a little bit of blue because obviously I want to grade down this color. Sometimes I want to just uh, warm up a color, make it a little bit saturated. Sometimes I, I want to grade down. This area, for example, is receding. I mean, uh, orangey color here is not going to work okay. Yes. Let's do this. An orangey color is going to make this pop forward. And this a gray color is going to make this recede. A little bit, just a little bit, but that's, I mean, that's what we look for. Those little things, these little subtleties. The idea is to capture them. Okay, this is, these are things that Maybe we don't see clearly in the photograph, but these are things that we should know because this uh, happens in the whole face. Okay, every time that we paint, we gotta take decisions about where we're going to grade down the color and where we're going to warm up the color. Okay. Let's add some highlight to the mouth. Let's see here. Let's see here. For painting the teeth, I mean, I look for the center line and I throw a teeth there where I think you see here is kind of the center of the nose it goes the center here uh, now I'm, I'm not using this because I don't know exactly where I'm going to move this area I know that I gotta just narrow this to early yet to be precise Okay, and if I do this, I mean, the other thief is just gonna be yeah, drawing squares, just like I do this square here, square here, and I, I'm reducing the squares as I go to the left or to the right. Okay, and obviously, it's not just about the square. I mean, the thief goes like this. I'm exaggerating here, I mean, it goes, this is straight and this all kind of lay, lay down to the left or to the right. A little bit, okay, a little bit. And obviously that's something I know about drawing on teeth. And I mean, I gotta use uh, see her teeth and adjust both things, what I see and what I know. Because following what I know, I just can draw her teeth, just guessing, just and doing this. Obviously, I gotta see here to be precise about her her teeth. Okay. Now. Let's work on this area here. Let's see, I have the mouth. And 
the corner here of the mouth and tracing a line up and see this is aligned with the center of the eye here it's going to be like kind of the corner of the eye maybe it is clear yes i'm gonna move this there it's not gonna be okay obviously there <laughs> not okay yet Yeah, maybe there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the shadow here. Okay. Very close. Yes, I feel like I'm very close. I'm gonna mix black, the lizard crimson. Okay, these colors are difficult to see. If you wanna see this color, you have to add white. You see the color? It's not black. Okay. I'm not gonna work with this light. I'm just doing that because if you have this problem that you don't see this color because uh, it's black and the and crimson is it's gonna look, look really darker color. You add a little bit of white and you know if that's the color you want. I traced this line first because I just wanted to see the shape here with the mouth. Now I erased it because now I will try to get that, that shape right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna work on the hair a little bit, lest this area of the face take a rest. Mervat, okay. Saying, I watched yesterday a portrait life painting, painting a woman. He stand about ten feet back, looking, and then he comes to the canvas, make a single brush stroke, and then he go backwards. Repeat this. 
Okay. That's, uh, that's really interesting. I mean, that's, uh, I heard in an interview that that was the page that Sargent uh, painted. He was like really far away, thinking a lot, mixing a lot, getting close to the painting, making two, three brush strokes and going, stepping back again, mixing again, a lot of observation. And after, let's say, 20 minutes, then he applied, uh, let's say, two, uh, two brush strokes. And then again, I mean, for me, when I heard that, I'm just thinking that somebody that just want to be so precise with every brush stroke. You know, uh, uh, these brushes, nobody can find these brushes. I don't know why. A lot of people is asking me, are asking me for these brushes. This is for Eterna USA. I mean, you know that it's not from USA. It's, it's Chinese brushes. I have a set like this, six, for like $2. I think I'm going to erase the name. I'm going to put my name here. <laughs> I'm going to sell it. What do you think? It could be a good business. <laughs> and since nobody can, can find this, can find, can, can, I can find them. Maybe you gotta come here to Peru. Maybe you, maybe you will buy them from me. Okay, this paint. Uh, let's go work on the hair a little bit. back okay on a soft I'm going to blend a little bit
I'm going to do some more brush. No, this one is not okay. So remember, don't leave uh, the eyebrows sharp. Even if you see the eyebrows sharp, try to get balance, I mean. Because uh, that's going to look OK in the photograph, but not in the painting, OK? Just moving the shape of the eyebrows, making this a little bit darker here, a little bit lighter, stepping back. Okay, if you need this area here. Mm, it's gonna be difficult. Let's look at the diagonal, like this, yes? OK. 
Okay, it doesn't work here. This is like this. Go like this and go like this. <laughs> the width is, is not okay. I can tell that. You know a bit, uh, okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me a minute, give me a minute, please, stripes, and just uh, compare here the image in my computer. You know, I, I take a, I took a screenshot. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Uh, what I used to do is I take a screenshot and I reverse the image. Okay. It's like uh, using a mirror. This thing about using a mirror is, I mean, we have to, okay, it's a must use a mirror. If you check out, if you have seen uh, digital painters, uh, if somebody here, make digital paintings, you know that you flip up the image a lot during the process. Because it's so easy, yes, in the computer just to make it like this during the whole process. And just, it's just like using a mirror, okay? And I, I used to do that. I not use a physical mirror because I mean, it's, it's not like I get. Uh, I have the camera just in front of me. I mean, it's so difficult to use a mirror in these conditions. And since we have the computer or or cell phone, it's just easier to flip the image, and that's it. I gotta be, I gotta work in this area two or three times. I gotta go back. Like I said from the beginning, the width of the face does always the last thing that I do. I mean, when I when I'm just drawing and painting at the same time, yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thinking, 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 thinking.
Now I gotta go really slow. Okay, uh, it's like I make a brush stroke, step back. I see this, everything is okay. You know that every time that you, we apply a brush stroke, we move the paint. And that's the reason that uh, making a drawing, a perfect drawing, trace on, I mean, there's not a guarantee that it's going to be okay. That's why when we're getting closer, making details, for me it's like make a brush stroke, step back, you see, and double check. I see the eye, I see the shape of the eyebrow here. I gotta put this a little bit down here. Okay. What about the pupil? The pupil is so clear here. Okay. What about the eyelashes here? Okay. Okay, now let's go. Let's go on the nose. I feel like I should make the brows a little thicker, but I gotta do this little by little, okay? Just little by little. I do this, step back. Everything is okay? Continue. Now to the nose. Okay, I have seen kind of a reflection here. I think it's there. making the nose uh, because here it was just a shadow the nose is the nose is a little bit into inside this shadow okay. this is a shadow I have seen something that I need to fix here. Uh, I'm not gonna do it yet. I mean, I will continue just going down, working. Just give me a second. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put uh, okay, just I'm doing this just because I was gonna see how it looks with I don't remember the name. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember how to name this. Little dark dots. Okay, now this work on the mouth. Okay, something else on the no the nose. Here, there's a shadow in the middle. Okay. 
a little bit, okay? Now the lips, the mouth. Now I'm gonna think of the color of the, the lips, okay? I'm gonna add camion and white. I'm going to clean out this brush pretty good. I think that's okay now. Red and white. Obviously, and adding this, this is really strong color because the painting is wet. It's gonna get mixed here. You gotta remember that when we paint the La Prima, we mix in the palette and we mix in the painting. And every time that somebody just do this, like go back and forth here, and with the brush stroke, like right now, what I'm doing is mixing that, okay? Making that a little bit darker. No more paint. Yes, red and white. And this go here. Okay. Stepping back. Double click. I need to add more shadows here under the eyes in the lower eyelid. Okay, I need to add a shadow here in this area, the nose, more light here. I'm telling you what uh, I see. I don't make those corrections. I just follow in my process, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. When I go back to the eyes, I know right now what I'm going to fix. When I go to the nose, I know, okay? And at some point, I'm gonna be just jumping around the face here and there without any order because I'm just looking, making, to make subtle changes all over the face. I'm getting close to that. I mean, as soon as I just, I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna just go all over the face like this two times more, and then I'm gonna start just jumping around the face. I'm going to read the comments in a minute, okay. What else? I need to add more shadow here. I need to add more light here and here. Okay. I need to add more light. Here.
Okay. Let's write the comments. Hello, Mar. Okay. I'm scrolling up, scrolling up. Uh, please lower the left left side of her mouth. Okay, I'm gonna check out that. Thank you, Human Carlton. I'm painting Lady Gaga. Okay, Monique. Take care. Bye. Dita, the form of her, her mouth, I think it, it isn't okay when I see the whole face. Okay. Okay, let's check out that. Yeah, because it's not, it's not so clear yet. It's not so clear yet. Okay, I gotta work on that. Okay, let's continue. Let's work here. Black, coming red, and coming yellow. More black. A little bit of a different crimson. Mix black here, a different crimson. Little bit of medium. Let's see. The, no, uh, the ear is aligned with the mouth almost. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting close little by little. 
aquí, distintos aquí. Tarjeta. Sí, toma. Pide una arroz chofa. ¿Qué arroz chofa? Ya está bien. Sorry guys, you know my son. It's time to time to eat. I think I need more lights on the face. Let's see. Blend again. Okay, let, let me step back a little bit. Okay, okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Getting to at this light here. Wow, it's too light. Okay. Let's blend this. I know 
a little brushes for blending. Can you see here? Okay. I change from one to another. Sometimes I just clean out the one that I have in my, my hand, and sometimes I just change. Oh, Michael is asking me if there is any medium, any medium you don't like. Uh, to be honest, I haven't tried all the med mediums. I just, I just use linseed oil and turpentine, half and half. And I have tried uh, liquid for, uh, but uh, well, uh, it's, it's not because I. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, that occasion I just wanted to finish a painting really fast. I wanted the painting to dry fast. And I went uh, out to buy something and I bought liquid and I bought this one here, Seca uh, cobalt dryer. I have this like more than two years, I think. I just use this. I mean, this thing dries really fast. I mean, I'm not recommending this. I mean, don't use that. Don't use that. I mean, I did it, I did it because uh, somebody wanted a commission really fast. This guy, he, want, he wanted me to paint uh, uh, his girlfriend from one, one day to, to the next. And because he was going to to the airport just to go to see her girl to see his his girlfriend, uh, he wanted just to give her the painting as a present. And I have to look for anything to just to make the painting dry fast. Because first I told him, no, I mean, that's too much pressure, yes? It's too much. But then he said, okay, okay, how much do you charge? And I said, like $200. Okay, I'm going to pay you $300. And then, you know, money is money. <laughs> and I said, okay, I'm going to do it. And I went really fast to buy this thing. And liquid, I bought both of them. Okay, at the end, I used this this black uh, liquid, cobalt dryer, because this thing dries really fast. I mean, this painting for tomorrow, let's say, if I use that, it's gonna be dried even, I mean, to the touch, even to the touch. I mean, not not even nothing. It's just completely dry. Yes, and what happened is after like a week or a month, all the painting start to get a little dark. Start to darken a little bit. Oh, the whole painting. I don't know, it's like a chemical reaction. I didn't use that. That's why I don't use that. I mean, this guy just, I mean, I told him, I told him, I mean, that's no way that you can paint something and you're gonna get something really good. Uh, yes. Of course, of course, I don't tell, I don't tell, I don't tell him that the painting is gonna get a little darker. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to do the work. Eh? <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> That's why we need to let the painting dry just naturally. That's the best way. Yeah. Because it's, uh, something bad could happen to the painting. And at the end, I used the gla the liquid for other paintings because I found the liquid really nice. I mean, smooth. And the dry time, it was faster, but not that fast like uh, this, this cobalt dryer. Okay, and since I bought a really small, uh, let's say a small, a small thing like this, I mean the half, maybe the half, liquid was just the half. 
and didn't use it more liquid. I mean, I prefer just to let the painting dry just naturally. Maybe if that, if that happened again, maybe I will buy liquid again. Or I will use this cobalt dry. I remember him because he came, I mean, he was, he was, I've been mean, doing oh, a lot of things faster. He uh, gave me a, I remember a wine bottle, like a gift, because he liked the painting a lot. I did the painting in overnight. I mean, he came in the afternoon and I, I got the painting ready for the next day. I remember I worked like all night. I didn't sleep. paint her teeth because right now looks like kind of funny <laughs> really funny I mean I'm just mixing the paint here okay it's not like I'm painting this white it's not about that I'm mixing the paint here as soon as I get a lighter value, I'm thinking to add some highlights and leave it there. Oh, uh, obviously, I need to soft the paint here, the edges. You need to see the image here on my screen, really big to paint the teeth. Okay, I have the image here really big in my, my screen here. Now here on my screen, the mouth is almost the size of the whole painting, just the mouth. Okay, I need to see the tears. Okay. Right now, I don't know if I have to move this maybe a little bit to the right, to the left. I'm going to check out on that as, as soon as I finish adding this uh, white and mixing the paint here. <laughs> Something is wrong. Something is wrong here. Let's continue. Okay, you know, the more we see, 
the more we are able to make a critique and see what is wrong. I know that the, the, uh, the space between the teeth are dark now, okay, because I, I'm just uh, thinking I, I gotta go more to uh, make these teeth more. I mean, working on the width, on the working on the height and the width of the teeth. Oh, I'm gonna move this one a little bit to the right. I'm gonna move this one a little bit to the left. Okay. Now in the middle. Need another brush. This is so difficult, but anyway. We have to do it. I have to do it. Okay, I see a reflection here from the teeth on the lip.
Gotta go back to work on the ice. I think I gotta move this a little bit up. Mm, I think maybe I should move just the light in the corner. Okay, okay, okay. Every time that you get close to the end, guys, obviously it's difficult to see little details. Sometimes, I mean, obviously, there are some things that are so easy to, to see that are wrong. But for the painter, for me right now, uh, there are some things that because of the all the, the time that I'm painting, I won't see. Okay. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. And now, now what's my solution uh, when I'm working in a La Prima painting? For me, I mean, painting the hair. I'm gonna spend like, like five minutes painting the hair. That would be for me like, uh, some five minutes away, uh, away from the face. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do that yet. I need to work on the eyes again. Uh, I was thinking about the sclera. I was thinking about the, sh the, the lower lid. I was thinking about the, the shadow here in the nose. Okay. I told you that about uh, 20 minutes ago, I think, maybe more, because you know the mouth took me a lot of time. Okay, little by little in these areas. And just a paint, blend, see if the value is okay. Okay, everything is okay. I'm gonna change the other brush to add a little bit of pink here to the tear duct. this dark red in this area.
I mis misconfused the brush. Now let's move to the other eye. Again, the sclera first. Just a few paint, okay? Little by little. Change the brush. Right now, I'm trying to get the values right because there is light there. Okay, now another brush for the color. You know, there is a pink color here, the clear duck, and a dark reddish color here, just in this area, okay? Do you have the image in the description of the video? Do you want to paint this? Okay, now light here. Okay, I need another brush. I have three brushes to work this right now. I'm gonna use a new one to paint the eyelashes. Okay, let me see the questions. Okay, let me see if there is a question. Okay. The shadow on uh, the left cheek and line above above the right eye and a little in the eye. Okay. <coughs> I heard or read Okay, David Bradley, Bradley is saying, I heard or read, or read, never paint a portrait with teeth showing. Other than being very, very difficult, is there any other reason? 
No, it's just because they're very difficult. Just because of that. I don't think there is another reason. I mean, we cannot avoid avoid all the time uh, painting teeth. I mean, for me, I try really hard just not to paint teeth. But I mean, my reasons are different, yes? I mean, I'm doing a live stream. I'm struggling here. I mean, do you, you, you think I'm, I'm, I'm fu fully relaxed here? I mean, no, yes, I'm, I'm very focused about, about what I'm doing, comparing a lot, squinting my eyes a lot. Yes, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a walk on the park. I end up the streaming and I just want to take a rest. I want to see a movie. Uh, I don't want to do anything more. Yes, because of uh, there is some uh, level of stress when we paint a portrait. Portrait is not difficult. That's why I usually I try, I don't paint ears and not teeth. Ears, it, it takes me a lot of time painting ears. It's like, I feel like I'm wasting my time painting ears when I, I should pay more attention to the eyes, the shape of the, the shape of the eyes, paying attention to get the likeness. Yes, when, when you have a lot, a lot, a lot to deal, to deal with, uh, and the portrait, and the, the face, the ear is, is the last thing that you want to paint. I mean, for what? Yes, if you don't get the light, if I don't get the likeness, or get a little close at least, people are not going to say, oh my God, your ear is so beautiful. <laughs> people are going to say, okay, you, don't, you didn't get the likeness. That's it. When it comes to painting a portrait, I mean, is we used to be really hard when we don't see the likeness. Yes, I mean that's that's normal. That's okay. People that paint portraits used to understand that sometimes we cannot get the likeness. But people that don't paint portraits, they just want to see the likeness. That's it. They don't care if, I mean, anything more. And obviously, I want to see the likeness really hard. That's my intention. If I don't get it, it's just a failure. That's it. There's no more. For me, there is no like, oh, okay, that, that's okay. I mean, no, no, I mean, I, I go really hard on me, on myself when I don't get the likeness, at least some percent. I mean, I mean it's, and, and we're, not, we're not my change, yes, I'm not gonna get 100% of the likeness. So if I see the person, if I don't see the person, then I, I, I mean, I don't need people to say me, that's wrong. I said that to myself. That's really wrong. You gotta pay more attention. You gotta make more exercises. I mean, it's like this month you didn't draw at all. That's the consequences. It's not like, oh, oh my God, you already painted, painted a portrait really good. And that's gonna be the same for the next no, that's not gonna happen. If you don't keep yourself painting, that's not gonna happen. I mean, I, I, some painters, they, they feel just, when they don't paint even one day, they feel that they, they feel that they, they are, there's something that is not okay with them, that they, they, uh, they have lost 
something. I, I, I mean, I, I saw some guys like like that. Not in my case. I mean, sometimes I spend a week without drawing or painting. I don't think, but there are some paint, some painters that they they have to they have to paint daily. But my, my my advice, obviously, I mean, that would be, don't go too hard on you, not especially about the likeness, okay? The likeness is gonna be a long process. And it's gonna be an observation process. And there's not a secret about how to get it like this. And if there is a secret, pretty sure I would know I would know I would know about that. Yes. But pretty sure I, I won't tell you. <laughs> The ear looks terrible. That's why I don't like pink ears. I mean, I be, I'm, I'm not speaking in, ter in general terms. I mean, when I'm painting a portrait, obviously an ear is really amazing. It's transparent. You get the skin color okay. It's amazing. But right now, I mean, right now, I should be painting here, focusing here, and wasting my time here. Yeah, it's, it's not about, I think it should be, I should say this better. It's not about that I don't, I don't like paint ears. It's about that I don't like paint ears when I'm painting something on La Prima and when I'm running against time. Yes, because I know I'm not planning to be here for five hours. My limit is kind of, three hours, maybe three hours and a half, if I'm painting a commission. Now I gotta focus on these <clears throat> little shadows that make her expression, for example, here. You see this? And this, I gotta make this a little bit darker. Control this, okay? Adjusting this. When somebody's smiling, we gotta be very careful around, around the mouth because it's, it's everything about expression.
Okay, let's make this a little bit darker. Squinting your eyes all the time. Oh, somebody asked me about uh, using the mirror, a black and normal mirror. I mean, when you see the image, the opposite image, I mean, it's not, a, it's not, it's not about watching uh, the painting just with, just the painting, it's both. You gotta see both. I mean, if you see the painting through a mirror, I mean, I don't see a reason for that. I mean, it's about the comparison. You see the image, both. And the best is to have both at, at the same, si same size. In this way, you, you take advantage of the mirror. Yes, and when you use a mirror, it's so easy to see when, when something is off. And the black mirror is for uh, is to see values. Obviously, uh, like uh, I don't know, I don't think so many artists artists use those mirrors today. Maybe, maybe it's just now we have the computer. With the computer, it's so easy just to to do that to darken the image and to flip the image, take out the color even, and compare values, and see where you need more shadow, where you need more light. Okay, one more thing. I mean, I was thinking, I told you about this. I, I need to add a little bit of shadow here. Just in the middle of the nose. Just, it's kind of here. So subtle, it's so subtle just there. More, 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 a little bit more here. Just that, I think. Okay, another thing that I was thinking, just maybe add the wrinkles here. Where is, where is, where is here? A shadow here. this oh no oh here a little bit okay right now I'm trying to you know, I mean, I always uh, work on uh, simple shapes to more complex shapes. 
and for simple um, I go I start with just two values and then obviously at the end I'm thinking about all these subtleties here and there these are just little things but these are really important okay one of these values could change uh, the expression of the face. You gotta be careful with this. I mean, working on values is working on the likeness, okay? Okay, now I'm going to paint, I'm gonna take a rest. I mean, I'm, I'm not here, <laughs> of course. I'm gonna paint the hair. Okay. And when I will pay, be painting the hair, uh, I will try not to pay attention to the face. I will try really hard not to pay attention to the face. Remember, the colors in the nose should be warmer. Should be warmer in comparison to the colors around the nose. Now I'm going to add more warmer light, a warmer light here, here, a little bit there. I mean highlights, yes, warmer highlights. You can choose for adding cool highlights too, I mean this. This is going to be okay. And the skin color works both. Both highlights, cool or warm. Okay, I need to do something here. I need to create more roundness here because she has like a really round. Uh, Cheek. Then you just paint the hair. Okay, I'll read the comments. Let's see if uh, I have any question. No. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, before, before working on the hair, I'm just going to add this.
I gotta be careful in this area because I mean I know that this is going more I need I think I make a terrible mistake here. I'm not so sure yet. I mean there are some points, some part uh, we get to the point that we're gonna have always some doubts. And obviously it's gonna be about the drawing. When I say the drawing, I mean, uh, it's gonna be about the likeness. Because we gotta be checking, okay, thinking that maybe I, I, I make maybe this one millimeter uh, wider, or I should narrow this area. Okay, let's work on the hair a little bit.
But what the left left eye is open more than enough. You should be a little bit taller, I think. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Thank you, Marvat. Joyce, thank you, Joyce. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit. I think this is what I needed. I'm exaggerating a little bit the, this area, okay? To be honest, I need to do this in order to see if this is okay or not. Feel that is too much. Let me think about this. Now, a little bit dark here too. I'm gonna keep light just here. Not to cut the image for a little bit. Dark here and light here. make this darker. I'm, I'm blending here and softening, softening the edges here. Okay, okay this, is, this is better. Uh, okay, she has a red image. Okay, yes. She has a dress, something like this. Okay, here too. Okay, now the skin color here, a little bit of orange.
Well, I'm gonna put the image back. You know that you have the image in the description box, okay? Now what I'm doing here, I'm just mixing here in the palette. Sorry, in the painting. Okay, getting close, getting close to the end. There is a reflection here. Okay, I'm adding this obviously blue, light blue reflection because of this. Great job, you motivate me to paint. 
that's really good, awesome, Maggi, you're a perfectionist, Renzo, did you see my painting today? I didn't, Maggi, I'm so sorry, I couldn't resist, I just applied some glazes today to your painting, I saw the painting and I couldn't resist, I mean, it was dry, it was ready, I just applied some reds to the face, yellow to the hair, and uh, by the way, one question, if you're still there, Maggi, I don't remember the color of, of her eyes. It was, you told me something like, um, I remember something like um, light brown. I don't make, a, I don't want to make a mistake. Is this, is the sight of the chick? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna be ready for three days. It's gonna be dry again, okay? I think Monday, 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 I'm gonna send the painting, Maggi. I don't plan to retouch more. Just today, I see just I didn't like the color, the colors in some parts of the painting. That's what I did. The retouching is the side is the side of the cheek and the jawline straight straight there. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna check out on that. Okay, thank you, thank you. I need to add pure black here. It's because of the makeup. Here. And I need to add some. You know, there is color here. I'm just missing it. Adding highlights here to the teeth. Okay, they are brown. Okay, okay. Thank you, Maggie.
Thank you, Michael. Now I'm going to step back. So let's think for a minute. Okay. Let me put the image a little bit close here. In this way, you can, if you see something, you let me know. I'm flipping the image here. Maybe her eyes are too light, it should be darker. I don't know. Mm, uh, let me see. No, I think her eyes are kind of greenish, brownish, greenish. Yes. I'm double checking here and there. Okay, that's the last thing I do. I go over the whole painting. I gotta check on. Uh, oh my God, I mean, I was doing this and erase a little bit of the brow here. Okay, I should add a little bit of blue here, making this a little bit darker. This is because of the volume of the eyes, okay. Nose, double checking everything. Okay, maybe I should move, move this. Mm. Make this a little bit darker here. Just like an accent. Just there. Okay. We gotta think about the edges, okay? Always. Oh, the ear is. Oh my god. This ear is just, I feel this ear too big. <laughs> I'm gonna soften this, and I'm gonna move the background to the ear. I'm gonna make it smaller. I mean, the width of the ear is, is, is the problem. Okay, and double checking to see everything. Okay, eyebrows, Some details on the eyebrows. Maybe this should be a little bit darker, a little bit darker, just a little bit. Okay, the nose, I think the nose is okay. 
We're going to continue this. It's like an interruption in the value here. Okay. What is, what is about values, about the form, the shape? Should be, I think, a little bit lighter here. We gotta check out, well, I mean, I'm checking out uh, most, um, I think most it's about, my checking is about values. So no values here and there. It should be darker, it should be lighter. Thinking about that, I mean, any mistake about the proportions is just, I mean, that would be just, uh, maybe one more hour to fix any mistake about the proportions. I wouldn't be able to fix that. I've been checking for the for the three hours, the proportions, I think are, are okay. I mean, proportion doesn't mean the likeness. Proportion, it means uh, the measurements of the distance from the eye, I mean, the distance of uh, her face from the eye to the nose, to the nose, to the mouth, to the chin. Okay. And, okay. I'm thinking maybe I should add a little bit of shadow here on the sclera because she has kind of a sweet, sleepy look. Here, a little bit of dark, okay. When I read the comments. Okay, somebody the uh, the earrings. I would like I would like just to add. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's gonna take me more time to do that. I mean, it's gonna leave it without ears. Okay, look for the hair, the skin color, the mouth. Okay, Nancy, nice, the kind, the front teeth should be less between the front teeth. Oh, okay, 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 whoa. Yes, 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 I mean, the line between the teeth, yes? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 should be really less here. Thank you so much. Okay. Even here, I'm gonna soften this. Okay, that's more natural. Yes, when you think about color, always remember that the reddish areas of the face, the nose should be a little bit warmer than around the face.
Oh, Nancy. Yeah, that's that's what I understood. The line between us. That's what I I, um, I fixed. That. Thank you so much. Thank you, Theron. Good night. Okay. There is something. I don't know. I, I mean, at this point, I don't know what it is, but there is something that I'm missing. I feel like maybe it should the shape of the, the whole head because she has something like this diagonal here. Maybe I should move this. Let me try something. Move this. Add a little bit of shadow here. No, no, no shadow, but I mean different value here. I gotta be careful with this. I have changed the shape of the forehead here. Okay, that's okay. Yes, it's something, it's something, I'm missing something. Usually it could be about values and obviously, definitely is, there is a mistake is about the proportion because I mean, the distance between the eyes and nose Pretty sure it's not perfect. It's close, but not perfect. And that's a mistake. That's the mistake. I try to cover the mistake with values. I mean, values help me a lot, a lot to move things around the face, but it's not enough. If something is off, I mean, there's not gonna be a way for, for me to fix it. Okay, I think that's it. I put all I got. Mistake, some mistake here and there. Okay. Mm. Checking here, checking there. Remember the highlight is you are the highlight in the nose. Should be really warm like this. Works okay. Maybe it's too bright, but I mean, it usually works okay. Here, the light here, I'm picking a different color because obviously I don't want this to pop forward that much like, uh, like the light in the nose. It's more like a muted light. We cannot put the same light or highlights everywhere. Okay. Okay, now about her age, because I know that when I overwork, because I wanna get the likeness, I start moving everything. And that happens to me sometimes that I start just adding more age, more age, because uh, I'm looking for the likeness, I'm looking the small values, and I'm, I am mean, overworking. Okay, last thing. If you recognize her without the image, that's perfect. If you feel like maybe she's a little fat 
for skinny that's the mistake there's something wrong about that okay if you recognize her that means that that's okay Okay, I'm trying to keep a difference between this shadow and this area. You notice that this little light has more saturation than this one. Okay, little, little things, but I try to keep the attention to little, those little things. Okay. If, thank you, Maggi. Oh, wow, Maggi. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. You visit, you visit Peru. That's good. Bogan was living in Lima for a few years. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, Joan, maybe lighten the space between the teeth. Yes, exactly. New subscriber here. She looks amazing, you draw that talent then. Uh, it's time for bed. <laughs> okay, thank you, Chanel. Okay, I think that's, that's it, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the image back. Last thing, last thing before I go is so we checking the edges always. You cannot leave sharp edges. If you have a doubt between leaving a sharp or on a, or making a sharp or soft edge, always choose making a soft edge. The year is terrible. Huh? <laughs> it's terrible. Somebody's gonna tell me you, you did the ear wrong. You didn't finish the ear. Oh, yeah. 
but you don't know how much did I put into the face in these three few hours. Horrible, horrible, horrible. That ear is just horrible. I'm going to soft this. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna add the earring just because I don't want to see the, just because I don't want to see the ear. <sighs> That's okay, I think. Thank you so much. I don't wanna do more. I don't wanna do more. It's been almost three hours and a three hours and a half. This is a nice painting session. I have a drawing channel. I'm going to start making live streams in my drawing channel. You can look for my drawing channel, like for people that don't, don't know, like CC, CC Art. Let's take a rest, you and me. <laughs> you can know, you can go now. You know that I'm gonna stay for a few minutes. I'm gonna start making live streams really late. I used to do it in the morning, in the morning, but I'm kind of busy these days. I'm, I'm speaking about my drawing channel. I mean, you can find in that channel uh, a drawing with ink, charcoal. And I just want to start making again my live streams. Maybe darken the eyes, Joan. Yeah, maybe. Because she has, I mean, the image looks like dark eyes, but she has like greeny, greenish eyes. I forget about the eyes. Let's put some green there. 
a little bit of green. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, say hello to your cat, Emmanuel. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, Luca, I don't understand what you're writing, but thank you anyway. Okay, take care, guys. See you tomorrow. I make live streams for days a week from Monday, mo Monday to Friday, not Wednesday. Okay, take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Okay. If you don't want to, you know that you shouldn't come back here to my channel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care.